Hi guys, I'm back from a almost four day trip to Banana Island. For those of you who don't know, that means you only eat bananas and water for an extended period of time. And I wanted to make this video because, as you can see, my skin, I think, looks amazing. And that is one of the benefits of Banana Island. Um, yeah, just to say a little more about, bit more about that. First day of eating like 18 bananas, I remember I was at my evening dance class and I looked at myself in the mirror and I could already see the difference in my face. It was working immediately. And every single day, it got my skin got better and better until today when I woke up, I almost felt like, wow. I had an inner glow. I just, I loved it. And I honestly think that I looked... I look great like I think Banana Island changed my face for the better I liked how I looked before but when I looked in the mirror I was just like wow like I'm a different person like I'm I just felt really beautiful and um, that was definitely Banana Island's doing so also um, weight loss well I don't know if it was fat loss but it's definitely true that because you're not eating salt, water weight comes off. I couldn't believe how like thin I looked. Obviously, it takes a lot more time to lose fat, but so it's just water weight, but it makes a big difference. Like I was like, wow, I look really good. I felt like a Victoria's Secret model or something. Um, so skin, water weight, also energy that was like a huge one for me because um well i've been transition i've been trying to get into 80 10 10 i kind of ended up doing like a big push this summer um fully raw but then i just kind of recently have settled more into like raw till four um and i wasn't feeling like amazing because when i was fully raw i felt all this energy I felt like I was just getting stronger by the day and I could like run effortlessly and stuff and then when I got back into cooked food it just kind of slowly like diminished um, but third day of Banana Island I was running I, I walked and I had to start running and I just like ran and ran and ran and ran and ran and then just memory of what it felt like when I was fully raw this summer just washed back over me it was like the most amazing feeling I was like yes 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 I'm feeling it again and I'm feeling that strength like that that amazing feeling I thought must have been like fluke almost but no I think that's the feeling of just I mean either it's eating a lot of fruit or it's eating you know the low fat or the low salt or cutting out grains because that's basically all the you know, I did besides eating a lot more fruit. I don't know what it is, but suddenly, you know, your athletic ability just skyrockets. It's like, I honestly felt like I had a gas tank and I was like pushing on the gas. And before I could just like, ch -ch, and it wasn't like pushing down, like there was no gas in the tank. But then when I was doing this banana on, there was like push, 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 and it could still. And it was, I just had like reserves of fuel and I just could like, pull, you know, step on the gas and like run. And I didn't feel tired. I didn't feel drained. It was like incredible. <sighs> yeah, I hope that feeling continues. I think it will because I'm going to try to transition just back into 80, 10, 10. Um, and another thing about Banana Island that's really good is... I honestly think I should have done Banana Island when I started 801010 because it makes you realize how much calories you really need. Like I, you know, needed, I couldn't, I would be starving if I didn't, if I had less than 20 bananas. Like meaning I would be so hungry that I wouldn't be able to function. I would just be like in a ball like this. So, you know, 20 bananas or basically 2000 calories is literally the bare minimum for getting through the day 
you know, like without that, like I wouldn't have any energy. And when I had 20, 25 bananas on day two, I think that was good. I was like, yeah. And I felt, you know, I should have gotten in the 25 bananas earlier in the day because then I would have like had more energy kind of released instead of eating like the last five bananas at night. Anyway, I just realized how much I need high calorie fruits or like to get in a lot of fruit early in the day, at least, at least like no exceptions, 2000 calories worth. Cause I think before when I was doing 80, 10, 10, sometimes I would barely make it, you know, to 2000 calories. And that is why I think I did not feel like extreme energy. I'm not sure, but I think that's why I wasn't really like thriving because I was just barely like getting in the bare minimum and I wasn't feeling like this excess energy. Another thing I wanted to talk about was I was feeling kind of like jittery on day three. It was kind of like almost like I was shaking and I was kind of that kind of worried me and I was like you know maybe this isn't good but then on the other hand maybe that was just like the energy and I wasn't used to feeling like these energy reserves where I felt like I need to ex I need to burn this off like I need to go running like and that's kind of what all these 80 10 10 people talk about like they need to exercise and I I was kind of feeling that I was just like I need to do something with this kind of like nervous energy like I need to just blow off some steam and like run and whenever I was walking I just felt like yeah I could run and I did and I started running everywhere and I just liked it because I wasn't tired at all and if I did kind of get a little tired I would just you know walk for like two minutes and then bam my breathing would be back to normal and I could run again so the athletic benefits are just incredible um yeah so I'm definitely going to be eating a lot more bananas going forward oh and I just wanted to say one other thing like just I mean, tonight I went to a party, and I wore, you know, this dress and everything, and I just felt so beautiful, because I didn't wear any, well, I wore mascara, and that was it, like, a little bit of lip gloss, and my skin was so perfect, I just felt like a supermodel, it was amazing, and, you know, that was only, like, three days of Banana Island, and I really feel I look different so it's kind of like a miracle worker and then the energy and athletic benefits are huge and I had really been just hoping to get back into 80 10 10 fully raw but feeling like I just you know loved corn pasta and everything too much I still feel kind of sad that I won't be eating that because I really enjoyed that cooked food meal but I really want to just try to be an athlete and get as good as I possibly can at my sport of choice and yeah I just I just want to try going all the way and I have always wanted to and I think I just have to go for it for a while just try 80 10 10 like full on even though it's kind of confusing because Freely and Durian Rider they're like saying you know like rice and potatoes and the cooked carbs aren't bad but I really felt that when I was doing that I didn't feel like the athletic benefits that I felt when I'm fully raw and I just got in three days so anyway um yeah um that's my story with Banana Island and I will talk to you later bye